Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to the channel. Today on the channel we are going to be talking about knuckle bones, knuckle rollers, rollers, they have a variety of names depending on the brand. Uh, but uh, we're going to be getting into those, so let's go. Alright, I know that a lot of you who are watching this channel are familiar with knuckle rollers or knuckle bones or what have you. Recently I did a review of the uh, Knuckle Yo from Zero Gravity Return Tops and I'm actually going to be reviewing one of their up and coming uh, sort of knuckle rollers uh, that's uh, not modular like this one but is like a wood and metal hybrid sort of thing. Very sweet looking. I don't have it in hand yet but it is on its way from Canada. Uh, so I'll be talking more about some um, roller and knuckle roller and knuckle bone uh, content here in the next year and be doing more reviews and maybe some tutorials and things like that. But I had realized I never did sort of like an introduction to what this little pocket skill toy uh, is all about. I do have a whole review on this one. So if you want to check that out, if you want to learn more about that, I would encourage you to do so. All right, so that's that one. I have a variety of different ones. The ones I have the most of are from a round square. The terminology is that Round square, if you're talking about knuckle rollers, they are knuckle bones. That's kind of the branded name, uh, and that's what uh, they call them, and that's and so on. So you can't really call knuckle bones anything else, really. That's kind of not a, kind of like saying Q-tips, you know, or, or Kleenexes. Those are brands. That's actually not what the product is, right? Uh, so these are just rollers or knuckle rollers, sort of generically. Uh, but knuckle bones, if I use that term, that's a round square. I have a couple different ones. I don't have the full variety of them. I've actually owned a few other ones that I don't currently have in my collection because I keep giving them away. Uh, I've had some wooden ones. I've had some Delrin ones. And I, again, I keep giving them away for people who are interested. Uh, but I have a couple different ones. I have acrylic. I have these ones here. There's a kid a couple houses over screaming his head off. So if you hear that, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, I have a couple different acrylic ones. I have this one here. I love the brown tones on that's kind of like a tiger's eye or something like that, you know. Uh, and then I have the clear, you have to go with the clear, but they do have a number of uh, clear ones like this that are like transparent, like, you know, red or, or, or purple or whatever anyways. But I absolutely love the clear because it's great for photography as well. You can kind of shoot directly through it. I also have the honey dippers here. Uh, so it kind of, it's uh, initially these were modular ones, which um, I didn't have that one when I bought this one. So I, I didn't have any kind of frame of reference, but they, the modular ones, they come apart and you can actually use then the ends for a big Larry as well. And you can sling those around. Uh, this one's a little bit shorter and this one's titanium. So quite a bit different in the hand feel and all that weight feel, all that uh, than the acrylics that I have. The acrylic ones are lighter. And actually I would encourage you if you don't own any uh, and you're not wanting to spend a lot of money, the acrylics are really good as well as the Delrin ones uh, or the wooden ones as well. They're all kind of about the same weight. They're on the lighter side. so. You know, there might be some learning curve there. There are also some other metals. There's some aluminum ones, which I've heard really good things about. That might be one of the next ones on my list to buy. Uh, they have a modular Delrin one that's probably going to be next on my list as well. Uh, and you can kind of pick your own colors and mix and match and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, those, the Delrin or the acrylic ones or the wooden ones are, are fairly available. You can get them from around square directly uh, or Yo-Yo Sam's also a really good place in the US as well. Uh, but shipping's not too bad from around square even though they're from Canada. So if you're gonna get a big order of things you can only get through their store, I would encourage you to get a couple different things maybe and, and kind of uh, split the cost on the shipping. The last one here uh, I have is an, a modular. This is the newest one I have. Uh, this is uh, the slim ones, all right? So um, the ends do come off. This is fully titanium as well. So these knobs here, they can come off and they are drilled through the top. And so you can actually sling them as well. And the um, there's quite a few threads on here, so it's not going anywhere. Um, and uh, so really cool, fully titanium. These are, uh, this one's just kind of, machined uh, finish. Um, they have a couple different, they have a blast finish. They have a couple different colors as well. And you can change out the knobs too. You can do the honey dipper ones, or you can do the standard knobs uh, or the thin ones, which is a, a quite a bit more challenge. I've been wanting one of these for a while and I didn't realize how much of a learning curve. It's, it's kind of like, it, it, it strengthens your hand in ways that I didn't expect uh, and challenge you in way, the ways I didn't expect. But uh, I really like the feel in this. A really nice thin profile too. It's really good for that, that fifth pocket in the jeans, uh, which that's kind of one of the main reasons I really like K-Bones or knuckle rollers or whatever, whatever you want to call them. When I say K-Bones, I mean knuckle bones. 
Uh, they're great for in the pouch. So if you're an EDC pouch guy or girl, uh, whatever, uh, you could also put them in a pocket. And uh, th again, just kind of nice. And um, I really like the sort of like, you know, nonchalantness of it, right? Uh, we're very similar to Big Larry, but maybe even more so. I can kind of pull this out when I'm in line or something like that, or I'm waiting around and no one's really kind of gawking at me, right? Or, you know, if I pull it out of Yo-Yo or, or Kadamba or something like that, people are staring, right? And immediately are kind of all the attention's on me. I feel like when I sling Big Larry or, or from I'm messing with a, a K-Bone here, no one's attention's really on me. It's just for me. And that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, I also have a couple here from Aaron Barrels. I've talked about him on this channel before, but these are hand-carved wooden ones, so they are lighter. I've had this one for quite a while now, and it's patinaed really nicely. It's a little shorter than the web one that I have. I really like that design, though. I bought my brother a purple one of this, and I had to buy myself one, even though I own. Anyways, it's it's always an excuse, right? Uh, but uh, I, I don't know. I like that. I like the. I really like Aaron's stuff. And um, they, they feel quite different than around square stuff. Uh, again, they're lighter, but they're also shaped a little bit ever so different on the ends. So these are just rollers, knuckle rollers. You can just kind of generically call them. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and switch around the camera. I'll show you a little bit of how kind of like maybe a good starting point with these. Again, this is not meant to be sort of like a... I don't know, it's just meant to be a crash course on this, right? So if you're brand new to what the heck these are, or you've seen pictures of them, or I don't know, or I've talked about them on the channel, I've never really explained them, this is, that's really what this video is for. But I'll, I'll kind of break down kind of what I think is a good starting trick place, you know, and, and how to fiddle with these. But let's switch the camera around, and we'll take it from there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with the acrylic one. I really like this one a lot. I love the colorway of this one. Uh, they have a bunch of varieties of this, but whenever he first launched these, um, there were a couple different colorways that I haven't seen yet. And this is one of those. They kind of sold out really quick. And there were a few other colorways that I wish I had grabbed whenever I could. And, and who knows, there might be a restock at some point. Uh, but the ones that are currently on there are sort of like the second um, release. They're the same they're, as far as weight and size and all that. Uh, but I would say with, if you're new to Knucklebone, um, it's just one of those things with any skill toy, kind of just get comfortable with the feel in the hand. Um, now, of course, this one's lighter than I've mentioned with some of the others. So if you want, I don't know, if you want something a little heavier, you know, and you want to splurge a little bit more, uh, titanium's obviously a really good go-to. They have some aluminum ones as well that are uh, really are, that are really solid. Uh, I don't own any of the aluminum ones, so I can't really speak directly for that, but uh, I would assume it just plays a little heavier. So on some tricks, uh, the acrylic might be a little bit more challenging, but I do like the acrylic for the tackiness of it. The finish on it has a little bit of almost kind of a grip built into it. Uh, but all right, let's talk about some of the first things you can do with it. Um, instead of like downward rolls, which I think, I don't know, it's, it's good to obviously learn that. Uh, but uh, one of the first things I would actually say is to kind of do, I don't know what they call them, like push and shove kind of things. I know there's a name for it, but it's, I'm, I'm losing the name off the top of my head. Um, but you kind of cradle it like this, okay? So it's at the, you know, kind of in the middle um, space in there, kind of resting on my middle finger with my uh, pointer finger and my ring finger sort of cradled in there. And I'm just gonna push with my thumb forward. So it's at the front of my fingertips now. And I'm just gonna give it a 180 push. And you can kind of just, bring it back and forth, okay? Another thing too, and I actually might have a video on this um, with kind of just a general thing. Uh, sometimes the simple moves kind of help break and flow. Like kind of just get used to that, like kind of sliding back and forth in your palm even. But yeah, this kind of thing, you can kind of throw this as sort of a repeater going back and forth. Now, similarly, you can also kind of push this way. So I'm pushing with my pointer finger back and I'm kind of kind of sliding and grinding along the sort of meaty part of my thumb there, right? Um, and I'm just pushing back and I'm again pivoting at 180. I'm, I'm hitting, I'm pulling my pointer finger in like this and it's giving that 180 sort of shove. I do this a lot whenever I'm wanting to break up tricks, you know? And um, it's just kind of a fun way just to fidget with it as well. Uh, you know, it's kind of like similar to Big Larry, you know, you can kind of take it as far as you want. I am certainly not um, the the biggest pro on these. There are some guys in the community that are just incredible uh, with speed and some tech things. Um, for me, it's just kind of a nice sort of everyday carry sort of skill toy. I probably take Big Larry a lot more seriously, um, but 
these are just fun anyways. And it's something I'm still working on and something I'm still enjoying learning new tricks, but uh, generally I'm kind of probably more chill with these than some other players, which I think is fine. That's, you can just enjoy something, uh, by the way. Uh, you can enjoy your hobbies uh, that you are permitted to do so. Uh, you don't have to take everything so seriously. Anyways, that's that's just that's your PSA for the day. All right, but uh, let's talk about that. So we've learned, you know, these sort of push and these shove kind of moves. I, if I do remember the name of these tricks, I'll, I'll just kind of put it in the corner over here. And, uh, you know, so it gives me some credibility. Uh, but anyways, the next one I would say is just kind of da downward rolls, you know, and um, it just kind of simple, uh, but it's yeah. that's kind of the shape, right? And I, I feel like uh, with uh, knuckle bones, knuckle rollers, you know, what have you, um, I feel like there's a little bit of an intuitive sort of feel with it. I think the more you fiddle with it, the more you'll kind of just feel uh, the muscle memory. Uh, but it's one of those things that's going to be slow when you start. So as you roll down, just take it one finger at a time and just kind of feel where it feels in the hand, right? Um, really try not to drop it, right? That's kind of that's kind of just the goal, right? And so as I come down here, those are two different tricks, by the way, I'm sorry. I should just stick to the one. So just rolling down, okay? And just one after another. And I'm kind of then picking up with my thumb here and I'm starting over at the top. And you can kind of just do this as a, a repeater. And you can roll back and all that. But again, there's I'm not really kind of giving you a full tutorial on this. All right, so there you go. That's kind of the first like three moves that I, I would suggest you learn and just really get those down and then you can kind of mess with other stuff as well. All right. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Again, expect some maybe more knuckle roller, knuckle bone, all that content uh, as new things come out. And so if there's new things, maybe I'll do some unboxings, things like that. But again, the point of this video was really just to kind of give you an introduction to it. And, uh, and so I have something on the channel that you can reflect back to. If you're new to the channel and you've not subscribed, you've been watching my stuff for a while and you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. Make sure you comment if you have any questions or, or what have you, if you want to just say, hey, what's up? Take a look at the description for all the links as well to anywhere you can buy all this stuff that I've mentioned. And that's going to do it for now. And until the next one, later.